Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more of the Super Mario RPG playthrough. Last time we uh, made it to the end of Barrel Volcano. We got the final star piece, even after some resistance. Um, we even took a trip back to um, uh, Monster Town and did another round of the dojo. But uh, now we actually need to progress because uh, we are in Bowser's Keep. We took the uh, royal bus to get here, and uh, we're going to finally see if we can get Smithy the hell out of this world. So, we're going to see what we can do. Um, so, the first part of Bowser's Keep should look a little familiar, because you know, you'll kind of go through rooms that you went through before, but uh, there will quickly be some changes. Although, to be fair, we only got to the third room before we found Bowser the first time, so... Clearly, there was more to explore anyway. Um, but we do have some new enemies here. These are not like the Terrapin enemies at the beginning of the game. And uh, there's some other enemies that are here as well. Um, so let's go ahead and start working on this. Uh, so we have uh, some uh, recreations of earlier enemies. We have Forkies and we have Terracottas. Um, let's uh, start by actually showing off Psych Bomb, because we haven't seen this yet. Psych Bomb, like I said before, it's an all uh, non-elemental attack. I did not expect to get rid of uh, the uh, Terracotta, though. So we'll have to uh, pick up that bio a bit later. Let's at least get the Forky, though, because it's here. Okay. Everybody dance the polka. Oh, I get it, because forks poke people. Oh, so yeah, there's the frying pan. Or the metal plate, as it's called. Um, but yeah, here we are in Bowser's Castle. Um, let me also do this, because... It's too much FP to be spending. Okay, good. I was worried that he'd run away. Uh, so at this part of the game, because some of these enemies are technically Bowser's troops, um, they will have some bits of confusion that you can kind of take advantage of. And I think if sometimes if Bowser's like actually physically in the fights, uh, they can get scared and run away. So um, keep that in mind that you can kind of use that to your advantage. Press it a little late that time. Press it too early the first time, too late the second time. I want to say that's probably all you can face in this room. Don't worry too much about getting thought peaks, because there'll be like guaranteed ways to fight like certain enemies later on. But uh, yeah, a lot of lot of enemies here, as you can see. <laughs> I'm gonna go for you guys first because. already got them. Oh, um, I'll just use group hug then. So here we have the Malakoopas, and then we have the Pro Goombas. It's kind of funny because they were called Goo Goombas in the original game. Hey, maybe I can win! Maybe. Oh, well, I missed the Malakoopa, but we can get them in another room, so it's not a big deal. And see, like, even the bridge from earlier is no longer here, so... Yeah, that, thankfully, those donut platforms were there. <laughs> Otherwise, who would have been lost? <laughs> okay, oh, we also have another big Koopa, too. Another big boy. <laughs> I 
I outgrew my old shell a while ago. I guess you did. I had a pretty big shell I was attacking with too, honestly. No! <laughs> I wanted to thought peek you! <laughs> uh. Oh. Okay, good. I thought I saw it in the middle. It kind of did some weird little flips in that one. Thankfully, it didn't matter too much. Okay, well, let me actually... get you this time. Oh, I missed it! Come on, game. I actually, I actually killed it with splash damage that time, too. That's funny. Um, over here, I believe that's just a mushroom. Or a healing everything mushroom. Oh, crap, I don't see the Malakupas anymore. We do have the Star Cruster, though. Very random enemy to have here in Bowser's Castle, by the way. Seventeen! <laughs> Where's the Crustacean Station? Really the question that we all should be asking when we think about it. Yeah, very defensive enemy, but not too bad to take down. Just another repeat of an enemy we've seen before. <gasps> Croco? Oh my god, do we have to fight Croco again? Well, before we do, another little room that's kind of easily um, missed if you're not careful. I think there were actually frog coins in here in the original game, though. No, not that, but still... Let's go ahead and save our game. Let's see what Croco wants here. Hey Mario, did you remember to use the save point? There's plenty of danger up ahead, so it's best to save now. You need anything? I've got some items to sell. Croco's helping us? The Croco W? Hell yeah. Uh... Well, I can't care anymore. You know what? Let's just restock on these. And let's also sell... I think we have a... Uh... Yeah, we don't need the war fan anymore. Um, we can also, I think, sell... Oh, no, we can't. I was going to say, I think we could sell one of the feathers, but since they're items that are rare, you can't get future copies of. That's probably why. Uh, but yeah, let's sell the pure... We have seven pure waters. We don't need those. Let's sell all of those. Pure waters are great items to sell. I will go ahead and say that much. I guess we can also sell these rotten mushrooms. They're not doing us any good. Another lucky jewel. We can also sell some... Oh, sleepy bombs are only worth one coin. I didn't, I didn't even realize that. Okay, well, I think that's it for now. Uh, but yeah, you can get some items from him. Uh, the armor is all the fire armor from earlier, so we don't need to get that there. And what do we have here? There are six doors. Need an explanation? Might as well. Of the six doors, two open into an action course. You can handle a lot of action, right? Two others will lead you to battle courses. You can fight, right? The last two open into puzzle courses. No sweat for a great puzzle solver like you, right? I mean, yeah, peace is game of the year. Come on, let's be real. But, uh, yeah. Once you choose a course, there's no turning back. The only way to know what's behind a door is to walk through it. You must pass four of the six courses to move ahead. Ugh, that's a lot of courses. So, yeah. Um, these doors are randomized. You don't know what door will contain what until you go through it. Um, you get unique prizes for each of the rooms. And if you want to get all the items, you do have to do all the doors. 
but the game progresses after you complete four of them. So, um, after you complete them all, you'll have to finish the area and then come back to get the other two prizes, which we will be doing. Uh, but let's start with door... Let's start with door six. Which is a battle course. And it's... I believe, actually, the harder battle course. But that's fine. We, we can handle it. Um, while we're doing this, I guess, I guess we can showcase some, you know, some additional things here. It's, uh, it's actually moved to Mallow. Because we need to see Star Rain. The timing for that feels way different than what it is in the original. <laughs> but yeah, basically, it's it's kind of like Super Jump, as I explained before. You can get like a, a constant combo with them if you're good at the timing. It was nice in the original game because I felt like you could kind of like... The star would come down and it would like kind of squeeze down. And you could kind of squeeze down by pressing the button and kind of use that as your timing window, which... Definitely doesn't seem like it in this version. So that could definitely be a little harder to deal with, I feel like. Uh, but yeah, for these battle rooms, you have to fight through three rooms of uh, basically four fights each. And they each have, you know, different fights. And you'll fight, um, in some cases, you'll fight like a lot of enemies from just like throughout the game. Like, uh... I feel like the, uh, hold on. Okay, that's what we're... But, um, a majority of the enemies will be from, like, this, this area, the area we're currently in. But you can find enemies as far back as, like, the uh, sunken ship, I believe. Or, in this case, Star Hill. <laughs> uh, Big Blaster. I think we do need to get this... Actually, I'm going to check something after I get this. If there's one thing you can say for me is that I'm never afraid to shoot my shots. So, no hesitation. Got it. Probably, probably a good mindset to have, honestly. Uh, Why am I not getting the timing for that now, of all things? Oh my god. <laughs> I hate how bad I am at the timing for this sometimes. I'll check the thing after this fight. See, here we have it. We'll have a bunch of lands and enemies. See if I can actually. Yeah, I got him. Oh, sweet! We actually got some level ups. I believe this is the HP level up. Sure is. Okay, let me check this out because I am honestly kind of curious about this. <laughs> First of all, looks like we missed nothing in the volcano. We did miss the Malakupa, but we can go back and get that later. I'm gonna go scroll all the way up here. To the booster tower section. Okay, no, it's not here yet, so... I think they're just called blasters. They might just be called blasters. Um, the, the the enemy I was thinking of. I was wondering if that variant that we fought just now was the booster tower variant, but no, it's not. 
Yeah, there it is. Okay, so yeah, this is the bow. I think it's called like Big Bertha or something in uh, the old game. So that's that's why I was kind of confused, I guess. But alas, we will keep moving. And see, this is why I meant by as far back as Sunken Ship, because we have the Alley Rats. We also have the Armored Ants, too, so I mean, you know, there there is definitely some variety here. But, like, in each of these fights, like, you know, there's a pretty sound strategy. Obviously, I, like, go for, like, the more advanced enemies. And then, like, the weaker enemies, you could probably get down with splash damage pretty easily. Okay. Yeah, we're just... This is all level 19, so... HP, HP, HP. Let's change the party a little bit. Let's get Mallow in here now. Actually, you know what? No, let's do this. Let's get very battle ready here. Let's use our three main attackers. If we need to heal, we can heal. Like, that's not should be a problem. If we need to... Thought peek anyone, we can thought peek someone. Let's just eliminate these guys. More lands end enemies. Maybe from Land's End, but today they met the end of their existence. That's what's up. Yo, look, in the name of DT. <laughs> My good friend. Yeah, that wasn't DT. That was just an imitation lizard, that's all. Or gecko. Okay, this should be the last room of this battle room. We have some raw bombs. Along with the big blaster enemies, too, so we can... Also taking them down. We should be able to knock them out with this. Yep. What can I say? This squad is, uh... Squad knows what it's doing. Oh no, the Vomers. Not the Vomers. Whatever will we do? Oh wait, the very... <laughs> the... The, uh... Attack all spell with the lowest FP cost. That's what we'll do. And hey, another pure water to sell too. Yeah, sorry, I kind of like blanked what I was trying to say there. It happens. Um, yeah, let's just put you back. Let's see, we've used a lot of Mallow. Now that we're facing like a lot of like repeat enemies, it's like, let's use some other characters. Um, I believe we have all of these still, so... Let's just... Let's just triple move. Now there's a possibility they won't attack like everybody, but... Should be able to get rid of most of these guys. Like, I, don't, I don't even think it attacked that last guy. But it went down easy. Anyway. Okay, so I believe this is the last one for this section. So we're going to very quickly swap party with Mallow. Bring him back. Uh, there is a reason for this. Because we have one more 
treasure box guy to fight. Come on. Or, or, or is that Comian? <laughs> Comian. I like the name Comian. Um, as you might expect, these guys are very weak to jump. So we're going to do that to get some damage in on them first. Of course, I miss. And yo, a dragon! Bahamut was inside. Not to be confused with Bahamut. It's Bahamut. It's like a guard dog or something. Okay. You sure are a greedy one. Hey, look who's talking. Um... Oh, shoot. I did not guard that. I think we should be fine, though. Um, do I want to? Let's just wait. Well, let's wait for uh, Mallow to do stop peeking on him before we attack. There we go. He's weak to ice. I don't show up much, so feast your eyes while you can. Yeah, except every Final Fantasy game. Um, attack him. Mega Recover? Mega Bullcrap, that's more like it. Let's use Snowy then. Oh man, he had a resistance to that. I didn't even think about that. He might bring back another Bahamut though. again. Okay, well I... Yeah, I was no longer under fear, so... That helps. This should do it. This should definitely do it. <laughs> this should also do it. There we go, we got him. <laughs> okay, that took a little longer than I thought. But hey, we, we, we made it. We made it through. So yeah, that is uh, the first battle room. Maybe we'll get the second one, I don't know. Uh, but the item we get for this is actually the Star Gun, which is, uh, well, at least in the base main game, Geno's best weapon. There might be some secrets in the remake, though. Um, but fun fact, uh, this is actually not the reward for this battle room in the original game. Um, I believe they actually swapped a Geno and Bowser's reward. Because uh, I remember the Star Gun was always the prize for the other battle room, while uh, Bowser's weapon was the prize for this battle room. So, kind of interesting that they swapped those. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. It's just, again, I found it interesting. Uh, let's use Group Hug um, just to heal up everyone. We're also kind of low on flowers, but we'll, we'll be fine. Hey, it's the other battle room! <laughs> of course. Of course it's the other battle room. What else did you expect? Okay. I actually didn't mean to have Bowser here with me, but that's fine. Bowser might scare all these Goombas away, but... They shouldn't have betrayed me in the first place! Besides, who decided to paint them green anyway? Good question, Bowser. Good question. Okay, uh, let's actually put Gino in the party then, just so we can see his new weapon. Plus, I plus I don't want to scare these guys away because we still need to get the Malakupa um, thing. But I I love the Star Gun. The Star Gun is really cool. It's such a cool. Weapon. Just looks really neat. I'm a high level elite paratrooper. You sure are. I wonder if we can actually make it through the rest of this before the video. 
I might do it just because. Um, actually, okay, I'm glad that we still have Mallow here. Actually, no, I think these are... I don't think any of these enemies are new. I think in the um, original game, they do actually give you, like, um... One of the next area enemies for one of these battle rooms. I think. Admittedly, I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I think that's the way it works. Okay, well, guess what, guys? We have max flowers. This flower jar will do nothing. We can honestly probably sell it for money, but it will do nothing for us. And yeah, let's go back to uh, Party of Death. <laughs> the Party of Death and Destruction. That are going to completely eliminate this entire part of the game. Honestly, I need, I need to put the... Uh, I need to put the flower ring on Bo on Gino. Because that'll make this section really fast. Yeah, we'll do that really quick. I'm, I'm really happy I got the... Uh, um, wait, what am I doing? Equip. Uh, I'm really glad I got both battle sections now. Just, it's just going to make this part really, really fast. Going to make it really fast, and also it's just... You know, these are two of the best rewards you can get. From this section, anyway. And see, this is why I use Blast instead of Flash. I feel like the animation is a little faster for Blast. And, like, it doesn't do as much damage as Flash, but, like, at this point in the game, it should be, like, one-shotting everything anyway. Maybe I'll use Flash here just because... I don't need to see Ultra Fireball, but... <laughs> I mean, really, there's not much to see, if I'm being honest. Oh, wow, the Muckles actually survived. Then Bowser's like, Don't worry, Gino, I'll finish them off. Or one of them. Not get a lot of experience for that though. Oh wow, we actually get a forest maze enemy in this one. I almost forgot about that. You know what? Let's. Might as well, I guess. Yeah, of course. That guy has a resistance to it, but hey. We saw Ultra Fireball. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Oh, here's the new enemy I was thinking of. So yeah, we have uh, Greepers and then the Glum Reaper. I guess we can go ahead and get this out of the way now. Four HP. Make way for fear itself. The valley just I could have accidentally killed him right there. That's the funny part about that, but We good. We good, we good, we good. Okay, another fireball enemy. Get back to blasting. Like, this is what I even do in, like, my Super Mario RPG rando seeds sometimes. 
If I need to like get some experience and get some quick level ups, I just find the character that has Geno Blast and just use them nonstop. Because different characters can have Geno Blast and Randomizer. Probably should use Flash here. Cause I want to say Lakitu's are kind of beefy, but eh, apparently not. game we're about done I just I literally just said we're about done <laughs> we probably won't kill the shamans here but it's fine because we have Bowser and they'll probably just run away anyway I'm not sure if super enemies can appear during this section if you haven't seen any obviously but I don't think it necessarily means that they can't show up here though You've done great work, but let's let's end this with a more appropriate finale here. I picked this one because I feel like they might be a little less immune. This is more physical based damage. There we go. There it is. We are done with uh, battle room number two. As I alluded to before, our award for this is the Drill Claw, which is Bowser's current best weapon. And, uh, yeah, that's going to do it for that battle room. Clearly, though, we're not done. We still have two other um, rooms to get through, but uh, we will handle those next time. This has been Slim Kirby. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Later, folks.